All right. So like I said earlier now, I, I really want to, let's see, I'm going to go back to my item. I'm going to purchase for San Francisco. Okay. So I'm going to put my location here in San Francisco. And now you can see that I only have two available. And this is actually the one I want to get into, the gears for the transfer case. So what, what I can do here is I can click on it. Okay. And it's going to show here, I have two on order. My reorder point is 25. So what NetSuite is recommending that I automatically do is order 23 of these because my reorder point is set to 25. So since I have two already on order, NetSuite's telling me, hey, you need to get 23 in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Keep in mind, you can just do 10. You can do whatever number here that you'd like. I'm gonna set it to 23 just so I can get back to my reorder point. And I can tell the system that, hey, this doesn't need to be reordered again when I go back in and order items. Keep in mind, you can also change the rate here. But I'm going to go ahead and order 23 of my of my transfer case gear. So I'm going to submit that now. Okay, so this might take a little second here. If anyone needs a breather, um, it's it's loading and processing the purchase order automatically. So we're refreshing that, and this can take up to a couple minutes, especially since we're in a demo environment. Oh, that was very quick. Never mind. So the purchase order is completed here. I'm going to go ahead and click into it so that we can see everything. Everything play out. Okay, so this is our purchase order. And just to go through this form a little bit, you can see that all of the information has basically pulled from the item inventory um, the inventory item that I bought from, the transfer gears, and the information from it, the vendor that was associated to it. So that being the subsidiary number one, here's our vendor. Um, we have our USD currency, our San Francisco location, um, and the administration department, because you can see when I go up here, my department was set under administration. So then I can change this department as well. Okay, so to get down to the line level here, you can see I have a purchase order for the transfer case gears for a quantity of 23 at a rate of 500. I can change this rate before like I showed or I can even edit it and change it now. Here's my total associated with my department and class to the line level um, where I showed earlier it's pulling from. And I can go ahead and 